is the difference between non-dairy milk, e.g. coconut, almond, cashew. So main, bene main difference, sorry to be totally obvious, is the main ingredient, whether it's made from almond, cashew, coconut, rice, quinoa, there are tons of milks out there, hemp, walnut, all these kind of milks. So the main difference is the ingredient and that will cause it to be a bit of a different taste. So if you've tasted coconut milk, it tastes really dramatically different from almond milk. Um, Health-wise, there's actually less difference if you're talking about like the boxed or the refrigerated. The one major difference is the can of coconut milk, and the can of coconut milk does have a lot of good healthy fat. Yes, fat from coconut is saturated fat, but the saturated fat from coconuts is actually metabolized really differently from the saturated fat in something else, something less healthy for you. So I'm not worried about the saturated fat in coconut milk, uh, but you should know that if you're drinking a can of coconut milk, that probably has, I'm not exaggerating here, like a cup of, of full fat coconut milk versus a cup of refrigerated unsweetened almond milk, it has at least 10 times as many calories and fat grams in the cup of coconut milk. Now, this is not always a bad thing. It's just something you should know. Here's an example. This morning I made a smoothie, and my smoothie had greens, uh, like mixed greens. It had green powder. It had frozen berries. It had a bone broth protein powder, uh, and then I needed a liquid. So usually I would put unsweetened almond milk in there, but because I wasn't adding avocado or chia seeds or nut butter or any healthy fat to my smoothie, I opened a can of coconut milk and I poured some, I didn't pour the whole can, that's too much for me personally, uh, but I poured some coconut milk in there because I wanted the healthy fat. So remember that when I say this has 10 times the amount of fat, that's not all bad. You just need to use it strategically. So if you're looking for a source of fat, which I was, because fat is awesome, it helps keep you full for longer. Uh, it satiated me with my smoothie all the way through until lunch. This is good, but you need to know that. So the can of coconut milk, much more fat um, and more calories, but good healthy calories as long as you're using them intentionally. Now all the other ones, like the boxed and refrigerated versions, almond milk, um, cashew milk, rice milk, all this kind of stuff, there is very little difference between them. So a cup of unsweetened cashew milk has about 25 calories, a cup of unsweetened almond milk has 30 calories. The difference is nothing. I mean, I don't need you, no one should need to count calories that intensely uh, unless you're under medical supervision or you have some kind of condition. But for the average person, that's really not a difference. Where you get into the difference is the grains like rice milk or quinoa milk. Those are generally higher in carbohydrates, lower in protein and fat, just like you would um, expect if you were comparing rice versus almonds. So this is all like differences and kind of giving you information that maybe you don't care about. Let me get to cut to the chase and get, give you something actionable. What I really need you to do is make sure that there's no sugar added. This is the biggest culprit with rice milk, almond milk, all this kind of stuff. Uh, so in the ingredient list, you shouldn't see sugar. And it should say zero grams of sugar or maybe one gram of sugar in the nutrition facts panel, but no added sugar. The other thing is look at the ingredient list. Carrageenan has been getting a lot of heat recently uh, because it's an additive. It's like a thickener in a lot of almond milks and other products, and that's really not healthy for us. So if it says carrageenan, that's a product that she says, thank you, of course, you're welcome. That's a product that I would uh, rather you skip. And if it has a bun if it has a really long list of crazy ingredients, that's also a product I would rather you skip. And then if you like all the other ones, I think a rotation is best. So I tend to buy almond milk and then cashew milk and then almond coconut blend. I love that. Califia Farms is in that funky shaped container, no carrageenan, no funky ingredients, and their almond coconut milk blend is fantastic. I promise you it tastes like you're drinking something like sweetened and something that is more like a milkshake than almond milk. So I'll post a link to that one. But if you want something very delicious and very healthy for you, that's the one I would recommend. Um, but if you're looking for no carrageenan, no sugar added, and then you're rotating amongst the other ones, I think you're all set.